Yule and I am playing Billy in Agent 2. I think the most interesting part about it is Billy was originally written as a male and uh, I went in and auditioned for the role of Belle and got the offer for the role of Billy and Derek and a bunch of the decision makers had decided to change the role from male to female which is really really cool and I felt so honored have been a part of that decision or at least spurred that decision on. One thing I absolutely love about Billy is that she is a junk food fanatic and absolutely eating Oreos and chips and all kinds of stuff throughout the whole movie which is really fun. I do have to say as an actor constantly eating the, the chips and the Oreos over and over again <laughs> was uh, my, I might have gone home a few nights with a stomach ache but <laughs> also Billy is the tech support of the team. I'm the one who designed the gauntlet and designed the training facility and and so I'm very involved in everything to do with that. So kind of the information one. I'm the one with all the answers and all the um, stats and stuff like that. So it's been really fun to kind of follow the crew around in, during all the stunts and then also have the iPad instead of like the, the big guns. We had a running joke about it the whole time. <laughs> This experience has been so much fun. For me, a project is mostly about the people that you spend hours and hours with. I mean, some of these days have been really long. We've all been sweaty together and doing lots of stunts and lots of, um, it, it's been a very taxing movie and you want to spend time with good people when you're in those situations. And that is absolutely what this has been. It's, it, I truly have met some amazing people that I hope to keep in contact with after this. Working with Derek King was really, really fun and interesting. He did such a good job of being an actor in the movie and then also a director, also a producer, writing it. I mean, he was a man of many hats and it was fascinating to watch him go at, from acting in the scene to then behind the camera directing it and he did such a great job and uh, his energy is infectious and when you arrive to work with that enthusiasm every day everyone feels it too and I think all of us all the crew everyone uh, really enjoyed every single day with him. I feel like there were a lot of funny moments on set. I'm trying to remember. I think there were just multiple times of us like running and flailing and then we watched the playback like, oh gosh. Um, and almost appearing like bouncy instead of, you know, secure and down in our in our bodies. So um, I think it was more just watching playback sometimes and laughing at ourselves and how we looked and then learning from that and then um, becoming the the strong characters that we that we were. Yeah, this entire family has just really made this whole experience really wonderful. The Kinians are an alien race that settled on Earth 500,000 years ago. They are back, Jim. The ash has great power and is used as a weapon by the aliens. And we need you to make contact with one of them. Try to find out what their purpose is now. There are a lot of things here at the base that will defy the logic the rest of the world knows. When I saw what the Ash was capable of, I wanted to run. You should have. Let's go! In protecting the ones we love, the world can be stronger. You must trust yourself. Let's get this. Hurry! <laughs>